Hey guys, it's Chris Jones. I am doing episode four of my um, series on Ask Me Anything about search engine optimization, personal professional development, or anything else for that matter. Um, the uh, questions have been rolling in from the previous episodes, but for this particular episode, I thought I would um, go into a slightly different direction um, by actually asking you to participate in a project that I'm working on and hopefully through that process it will show you you know what it takes sometimes when you have an idea to really test that idea and think that idea through before you start investing you know tons of money into it so over on my um, my personal Facebook page I had just posted a question around this idea of exploring product market fit you know one of the things that happens is sometimes we'll come up with an idea or in my case as an investor I'll get approached by someone who has an idea that seems big. It seems to sort of not only solve a problem, but importantly, um, open up a new market. <clears throat> so for those of you guys that follow me on my personal Facebook page, you know that uh, about two weeks ago I posted uh, that I'm working with uh, a business partner on an app that allows anyone, anywhere to hire talent on demand or to schedule um, that person, that talent, uh, to come to an event. Um, but the real bigger idea is this idea of on-demand talent, right? So <clears throat> no matter where you're listening or watching this from, you know, there are local bars or there are uh, local venues that host entertainment. Uh, generally speaking, um, that market opportunity is, is one that has been around forever, right? Now, it's got a lot of friction in it. Um, if you're local talent, it's not necessarily easy, from what I understand, uh, to get hired, to get what we call gigs. Um, but nonetheless, there is an industry, it's an industry that's been around for a long time. If you're a local bar owner, or if you're a local musician, chances are you could uh, connect with each other um, and you know the musician can make some money but again there's a lot more talent than there are venues um, and as a result of that among other things if you are a musician or a magician uh, or you know uh, anyone that um, could be hired to perform you know, it's, 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 it's just not that easy. So anyway, so I was approached about a year ago by someone who, who basically posed the question, you know, what if we built an app that kind of democratized connecting talented people with hosts? The host, if you will, just keep an open mind, uh, is meant to be a very broad definition. Pretty much anyone like you. Anywhere, like where you are right now, being able to pull out your mobile device and hire talent. So I have a couple questions for you, and I want you to respond in the comments below or to shoot me a private message. You could say, Chris, I think your idea stinks, or I think your idea is, I, or you could say, I think you're really onto something. Or you could say, maybe I heard something like this, people tried to do it, and it didn't work. So... Just keep an open mind with me here, but the purpose of this video is actually to ask you to give me some feedback and to help me think through whether or not there is this bigger market for hiring talent outside of what would be common sense, uh, meaning the bar owner hiring a local musician um, or you know an event planner um, you know at a local corporation you know hiring um, you know uh, you know a magician to come in. So here are some of my questions. Would you, um, as an individual, if an app like this existed, use it to hire someone to come to your children's party to perform? Maybe a magician, maybe a ventriloquist. Um, you know, keep an open mind. Question is, would you do that? Uh, if so, say yes, you know, uh, let me know. Um, another question is, let's say this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Oh, by the way, also keep in mind, assume that this app is easy to use and that indeed it would be affordable for you to do this. 
uh, again, the idea here is to democratize, to open up a market that is pretty closed right now and is full of friction. Open it up by creating more hosts. So number one, would you, uh, would you hire someone for your kid's party? Uh, I can tell you this, I would and I have, but this app hasn't existed. Um, two, uh, let's, this is my favorite. So you're hosting a dinner party with friends and having live entertainment would really just kind of push the entire experience over the top. Would that be something that you would do? Um, so you're sitting at your house, you're hosting a party with four other couples. I'm assuming you're in a relationship. So there's 10 of you there. Um, let's say you could, you could hire talent for something reasonable, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, if that's reasonable, 50 bucks, if that's reasonable. And someone could come over and perform you know, after dinner. Would that be awesome? Would that be something you would do? If I built this app and released it, is that something you would try? Let me know in the comments below. Third question. Um, I love this one too. Uh, let's say you've been assigned to the fun committee at your place of business and you thought it would be cool to hire talent on demand or schedule talent through our app to, um, you know, for say a Friday happy hour, which is being hosted at your office. And again, you could do it economically. Would you do that? Let me know if you would do that. Let's see, number four, uh, oh, this is a good one. You want to wow your wife or your significant other um, on your anniversary by having your favorite song sung live during a private dinner at your favorite local restaurant. I can't help you with the restaurant per se, that's not the idea, but I can help you making that, I could help you make that experience a reality. Would you do it? Is that a cool idea? Is that something that you would pay for if, uh, you know, I and my business partner released an app that would enable you to do that? My fifth question, uh, you want to host, it's, you know, a couple weeks from the Super Bowl, I know my family's excited about that. I hope you and your family uh, is as well. Uh, you want to host the ultimate Super Bowl party um, and having a 15-minute halftime show at your house. Um, you know, uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, if you could have somebody come over and perform. You know, it's, it only happens once a year. It's a big event. Often we host... Uh, Super Bowl parties, uh, or you go to a Super Bowl party and there are multiple people there. If everybody threw in ten bucks or twenty bucks, you know you might be able to to create a halftime show that's that's pretty memorable. So those are just five basic questions. Again, what I'm trying to get at is, you know, my hypothesis is that I think that there's a potentially a uh, an untapped market if we redefine what it means to um, higher talent and also what it means to be a host. You know, who would have ever thought uh, that there would be an app or a business model that allows us to, you know, uh, lease out our apartment or our home when we're not there? Airbnb showed us that that's possible. Who would have ever thought that really any of us that own a vehicle could sign up to an app, um, use our vehicle, to drive people from point A to point Z and make money. Uber demonstrated to us that that's possible. The idea that I'm talking about that it would enable anyone anywhere to hire talent on demand um, certainly has not been done at any level of scale if it has been attempted. Mm, I have not disclosed who my business partner is, but uh, you will find out in short order, and it is a very high profile um, celebrity and uh, we have quite a bit of, of interest and backing by other uh, very high profile people. That's not as important to me though as whether or not you think this idea is viable and if we were to release this app whether this is something that you would get behind and this is something that you would share with your friends and, and um, is this something that could go viral? Is this something that could be big? So I appreciate your feedback. I hope that by me kind of uh, using this episode to be a little bit self-serving, uh, I hope it's educational because these are the types of 
um, approaches that I've taken in, 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 in both investing in businesses as well as founding businesses, you know, to try to get a better understanding of what people think of the idea. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to use the comments below to give me feedback. To, I, I honestly, I sincerely, the only reason I'm doing this is because I need to know what your impression is of this idea and whether or not this is something that you, you would support. What do you think are some of the pitfalls? What do you think are some of the questions that I should be asking? Because I only asked you four or five questions. They were top of mind that I posted over on my personal Facebook page. So um, tell me more. I do see people commenting, Chris. You know, thanks so much. Uh, let's see here. He's saying that if, if the right filters were in place, that this is something he would absolutely use. Uh, looks like I um, got my father-in-law, Leonard Martin, to, to ask uh, or to suggest that DJs would love this idea. I agree. Um, again, if we remove the friction from the process for the DJs, I think that they would love it. Um, and if we did get enough people, non-sort of bars and others who typically hire talent to start hiring talent, you know, we could employ and, and, and help talented people make a lot more money. So I agree with that. Um, uh, Catherine uh, talks about how she thinks this would be pretty awesome in a, in a workplace uh, to create some, some more fun, you know, around company culture. She's not sure she would use it personally, um, but uh, perhaps for a big sort of occasion like uh, her mom's, uh, you know, 85th birthday or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry, and Chris is, is a girl. Um, I thought it was my friend Chris from Florida who's a, who's a, who's a guy. But so um, keep posting your questions. You know, I really appreciate it. And I will, um, you know, I will respond to each of them. So uh, you guys have a wonderful, uh, what is today, Tuesday, and I will uh, see you guys soon. Take care.